Hey everybody. Today I'm going to be doing a series of recipes that um, will save you money and be very useful for you as you make your recipes. And um, anyway, we're going to just uh, take the spices and put them together and make, um, let me look and tell you what all we're going to make. We're gonna make Italian uh, dry seasoning. We're gonna make dry onion soup mix. We're gonna make dry ranch seasoning mix. And also we're gonna make a, a house, a special house blend. And also I believe I'm gonna do a barbecue rub that um, I was watching Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives last night, and a old video uh, or an old show came on where uh, it was a lady who was a national champion with her barbecue, and her recipe was online for the rub. So uh, everybody was raving over it, and as many times as she won, it's bound to be really good. So. Uh, I believe I'll make that one too. And that way, when you have a recipe and you need these ingredients, uh, um, you'll ha um, yeah, these ingredients to your recipe, you'll have them on hand and you'll save yourself a lot of money too. So um, I'm just sitting down today. I'm where I normally stand when I do a cooking video, but because there's a lot of jars and stuff to deal with, I thought that I would just sit down and measure and everything. And I wanted to say I went to Dollar Tree and I got these um, jars to put the mixes in. <clears throat> and then I have a, a paint pen that I'll write on the top what the um, mixture is and then i'll uh, just be all set so we'll begin with the first one and it is going to be the italian uh, seasoning dry mix so the and i will try to have this all these recipes in the description box because it's a lot to try to uh write down and listen to and all that so i'll do that so the first thing you want to have is one and a half teaspoons garlic powder so here is the garlic powder And here is one teaspoon. And a half of a teaspoon. And there's your garlic powder. The next thing is one tablespoon of onion powder. Now this is not the salt, this is the powder. There's one tablespoon of the onion powder. Two tablespoons of oregano. Um, one tablespoon dry parsley. One tablespoon granulated sugar. Uh, 
one or two tablespoons of salt. Just your plain old kitchen salt. One teaspoon of pepper. One teaspoon of basil. A fourth of a teaspoon of thyme. Let's see, here it is. And a half of a teaspoon of celery. So that is all the ingredients in the Italian seasoning. So I just put the lid on it, shake it up, and there you have it, the Italian seasoning. And also I will put uh, in the description box how much water and vinegar and that sort of thing. So if you wanna use this like as a salad dressing, you can do that. So I'll be back in just a second and we'll go on to the dry onion soup mix. And the next thing we're gonna make is the dry onion soup mix. And so for that, we're gonna need four teaspoons of beef bouillon. And I got this at Ollie's, O-L-L-I-E-S, Ollie's. And it's the only place that I could find the beef in a powder and not a cube. So uh, it came in the box like this and you got 12 of these packets for $1.59. <clears throat> but you need four teaspoons. So let's see, there's one, two, there's like three teaspoons in one little pack. So I'll open up the other one and get one more teaspoon out. four teaspoons, then eight teaspoons of dried onion flakes. And so I'm using that, eight teaspoons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. The next thing we need is one teaspoon of onion powder. and a fourth of a teaspoon of pepper. And that is all that it takes for the dry onion soup mix. And 
and it's ready. And um, it says, <clears throat> I write notes to myself when I read this stuff and then I forget sometimes what I mean. But um, what I think this is saying is put a piece of aluminum foil down before you put your lid on. It'll just help keep it fresher longer. So, um, and I don't know how long these will last. Um, what I assume is just look at your spices and however long they last is however long this will last. And those dates are dates that are, uh, they're not written in stone. They're just dates to go by, but not, uh, when that date comes, your food is automatically bad. So this is the dry onion soup mix. And I'll be back in a second and we'll do the uh, dry ranch seasoning mix. Okay, now we're gonna start on the dry ranch seasoning mix. And you're gonna need half a cup of buttermilk powder. And I got this in the baking section of my store. And it was right under $5, I believe. So you need a half a cup. And you don't want to pack it in this loosely put it in. Well, my cup's bigger than the opening of this jar. Okay. Then you want to add two tablespoons of parsley. It's just a little bit more. Okay. Uh, one teaspoon of dill. And I couldn't get this thing to come off, so we'll just have to shake out what we think is a teaspoon. because I'm sure some of it's going on down into the recipe. So maybe I'll stop shaking a little before the spoon is full. Okay. A tablespoon of onion powder. And one and a half teaspoons of garlic powder. There's one teaspoon. And a half a teaspoon. Uh, three fourths. <coughs> teaspoon of salt. So we'll need a half and we'll need a fourth. And then we need a half a teaspoon of pepper.
and then two teaspoons of chives. Those fill all over my book. So a half a teaspoon, or excuse me, two teaspoons of chives. And that's all it takes for the dry ranch. And just shake it back and forth and it'll mix up. Then when you need ranch seasoning, you'll have it right here ready to go. And it'll save you a lot of money in the long run. So I'm going to come back and do the house blend next. The next seasoning that we're going to put together is uh, called house seasoning. And house seasoning is not the same for everybody. It's um, what you use a lot in the kitchen. So um, every time you cook, you don't have to go open three or four, five, six, uh, jars of different seasonings and put it in. You have it all mixed together in one. And it's uh, very um, handy to do that. So we're going to, I'll tell you what my house seasoning is. And it is one half cup onion powder. And I think my my half cup has a little bit of that buttermilk on it, but it's not going to hurt a thing. So one half cup onion powder. And I've got to open some more here. I didn't realize I was getting that close to being out of that jar. Well, it'll come off in just a second, hopefully. All right. A half a cup of onion powder, not not uh, the granulated. Okay. Next, we're going to use half a cup of garlic powder. And that's just perfect. Next is one cup of paprika. And I forgot to get my um, spices that I was going to use in this recipe here all together. So now I'm having to look and try to find them. So a half a cup of paprika. And this is, it doesn't feel hard. It just doesn't want to come out. See how that does. Okay. 
and I apologize that it's giving me a problem. I believe I'll have it this time. Okay. Half a cup of paprika. A fourth of a cup of parsley. And I'm not sure where my fourth of a cup is, so I will use half of this half cup. And then half a cup of pepper. and half a cup of salt. And so that is my house seasoning. Looks kind of pretty in there before you shake it up. But next time you're making something and you want to add all your uh, favorite ingredients, just um, reach for your jar that you have uh, put everything in and you'll find that it just makes life a lot simpler. So the next thing I'm going to do is make the rub for the barbecue and it is really from reviews a wonderful the totally delicious rub and so i'll do that also and i'll be right back okay we're on our last seasoning and it is the barbecue rub that has won several awards and it comes from memphis barbecue country and um, they were on Diner's Drive-Ins and Dives last night, and then I started looking on the internet to see if they had the recipe on there, and they did. So, um, I wrote it down, and I'm going to share it with y'all, and, um, I think since it won so many awards, it really should be uh, very good, and so we will get started. Now, I'm going to use regular sugar because that's the only thing I have. But they use the turbinaro sugar, which is the sugar in the raw. And it will caramelize better on the meat. So, if you're wanting that, then be sure and use the turbinaro uh, sugar. But for my purpose, I think that this uh, regular sugar is going to be just fine. So you want to have half of a cup. I'm going to have a big mess to clean up here in a little bit. All right. Then you put in four tablespoons of chili powder. And 
and we absolutely love barbecue here. So I was real tickled to be able to get this recipe. Okay, four tables, uh, tablespoons of chili powder, two tablespoons of salt, four tablespoons of paprika, Um, two tablespoons of granulated garlic, not the garlic powder, but the granulated garlic, two tablespoons. Okay, one tablespoon of dry mustard, and I do not have any dry mustard, so I will have to get some at the store tomorrow and add to it, but um, one tablespoon of dry mustard, one teaspoon of cumin, two teaspoons of black pepper, <laughs> two teaspoons of onion powder, and one teaspoon of cayenne pepper. And if you like a lot of heat, add some more. So that is the uh, barbecue rub, and I'm excited to try it. Um, I think you could use it on chicken, pork, beef, uh, any of that, and it would be good. I don't think it's intended for one particular type of meat. So, that is my um, video for today, and I hope it's going to be helpful for you. I know that uh, you'll save a lot of money instead of having to buy all the little packets of things uh, if you just reach for your uh, seasonings, uh, dry seasonings that you have made yourself. It'll make you proud that you did it and save money. So thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Do something wonderful for yourself. Do something wonderful for somebody else. When you make somebody feel special, you feel special. I'll see you soon, and I love you. Bye-bye.